Jude of all trades. I am a Jude of all trades. Huh? Yeah, so tell us about yeah. your work in the, in the fast food industry. Well, yeah, I started off in the fast food industry. Uh, what was your job? Well, I, 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 we, in front of the house, back of the house, I used to work the grill, the drive through The french fries? Last year. The fries, I was like, the, the fries, I was lightweight, but like, I was, I was on the grill. I was nice on the grill. Okay, making yeah. those burgers. Okay, and so yeah. what do we need to know as customers? You don't want to be rude to these people because they'll spit in your food, right? Is that true? I hate to say this, but we will spit in your food. I know it sounds awful, it sounds, but this is, this is the rule of thumb you want to go with. The lower the price point on the menu, the nicer you need to be to people. Because if you're paying like two bucks for a burger, what do you think we're making? So what do you think, what type of person do you think is working in the back? Have you ever spit in someone's food? I have, I have never spit in anyone's food. <laughs> you thought of it, you thought of it. I mean, I was like 17, 18, that was like my first, that was like my first job, you know. So you moved on up to bathroom attendant. I was the bathroom attendant at a gay bar, yeah. <laughs> what was that like? It was, let me tell you, gay dudes can tip, man. Gay dudes <laughs> tip, boy. I, yo, they broke bread. I, I, I started off, and I didn't know how to, like, uh, my girlfriend, yeah, I had a girlfriend was the go-go dancer upstairs, <laughs> and I was downstairs in the bathroom, and nobody wanted the job. Like, gay dudes didn't want the job, straight people didn't want the job, so they hired me. I can me. imagine why people wouldn't want the job. Uh, nobody could. Well, they wanted me to be, like, to make sure that nothing happened. Yeah, what is the point? Is it, oh, so people Let's, don't get down in the bathroom? Basically, it's to keep, because you got... Like, with a guy and a girl, the girl's saying no, right? You got no one saying no. You got two dudes. Nobody is like, no is like we should get to know each other better. You know what I mean? Like, no I one's see. saying that. Step goes down in the bathroom. Yeah, so I was like the, I was like the bathroom sheriff. I just made sure, I made sure, I made sure nothing went in anywhere it shouldn't be going. Like, that was me. And you still got good tips. Well, and here's what I used to do. I would rent out the stalls. Like, if I saw two dudes, I'd be like, yo, that's ten bucks, bro. Like, you got to... <laughs> Ten bucks, like great bread. You gotta give me ten dollars. Wow. But okay. If, if they couldn't figure that out, I wouldn't let them in. They'd have to like give me the money. You know what I mean? Like if I, I couldn't, I didn't want to spell it out for them. Like, look, bro, if you want to do that with him in there, you gotta give me some money. Oh my gosh. Well, hearing some of these stories is enough to make you want to drink. So let's talk about the bar scene. Please welcome the owner of HotBartendersLA.com, David Waddleton. <laughs>